hi guys hope you're all well um staying safe looking after yourself um and really enjoying part of the lockdown i hope you're enjoying it it's because there's there's lots to do um here's one of the things that i've been doing during lockdown uh speaking to some friends uh on 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 online um, and use it, making the most of my time. So let me add Mr. Bashar. Let me just uh, add him to the call. There you are. Yo, Mr. Bashar, it's working. We're uh -huh. on we're on record bro on record now yeah we're on record what are oh, you saying we're gonna have to crop this part out though <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i start again start again i start again <laughs> oh no, let's let's put this in let's put this in <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> so what are you saying mr bashar i see you've got the glasses and the hoodie on um how's that you are my sunshine, my only sunshine You make me happy when skies are grey You'll never know, my dear, how much I love you Please don't take my... I'm chilling, mate. How's everything with you? Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. What have you been doing? What have you been doing? You're wondering why I have the hoodie on. Yeah, go on. Because I gave myself a haircut and I got a bench <laughs> right there. So it's quite embarrassing. Uh. <laughs> the hoodie on. <laughs> yeah, same man. No trimming, like what, three, four weeks? Four weeks? No, I know, I know. Everything's a bit mad, isn't it? It is a bit mad, it's a bit mad. I got our Queen Mary jump on though. Remember oh. back the days memories memories yeah memories from YouTube uh, memories yeah from isoc wow so what have you been doing though what have you been up to today i hope it's been well this coronavirus it has made me realize a lot of things yeah well i've been given more time to myself yeah first of all. obviously with the marking blah 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 lesson planning and whatnot yeah uh i've been trying to get exercise routine in i'm trying yeah, to slim up good. but failing at that <laughs> I've been wasting time on Snapchat. Oh, been... bro, I would tell you to download TikTok, but don't download it. You're gonna... <laughs> yeah. It's so much time. I'm, I'm just going to so waste my time. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Yeah. Uh, I've been Netflixing. I actually yeah. teared up over a movie the other day. Yeah. Did you watch the movie I thought I recommended to you? No, I haven't watched it yet. I haven't watched it. I need to. Well, watch it, man. It's Miracle in Cell Number 7. It's 15 yeah. aged, but it's a yeah. wicked movie. So all right cool I, I, i'll give it i'll give it a watch um, well, how's everything with you man what you been up to now all good man uh i've been trying to keep myself busy as well so just like with the uh with do, doing stuff um so like uh you know what i've got a new passion bro gardening it's right. so... <laughs> are you growing vegetables <laughs> yeah bro Khodo and that like uh, some people might not know what Khodo is um like uh, is a pumpkin in it is it a pumpkin yeah, or I so think it is, but the thing is, the inside is never orange, though. Yeah, so it's a pumpkin, but like a uh, it's, I it's don't a know green pumpkin, it. isn't it? Green, it's a green pumpkin. I'll yeah, show yeah, some yeah. videos. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll put a snapshot saying in, uh, in this time. Uh, yeah, also, yeah. been you know what, as a math teacher, I don't feel like I read enough, so I've been reading uh, the translation of the Quran. Oh, in, yeah, into English, yeah um so just 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 keeping myself busy in that sense uh um like clean my car start just just keeping myself busy i think and i think that's really important and ma managing routine because i'm getting loads of emails from parents and they're saying oh everyone's with like my kids waking up at 12 o'clock and or one o'clock and I, I really don't think that's acceptable i think uh especially during this time you need to be like you like you're doing like stay keeping fit um i've been trying to learn how to cook as well cook as well okay i've been trying to learn is it yeah yeah yeah. yeah. so i'm utilizing my time but i can't i can't, I can't well, manage it. i'm rubbish what ready for married life yeah 
<laughs> my wedding's called off because of coronavirus. <laughs> no, hopefully, hopefully it comes through. But okay, let's keep this let's keep this conversation good and productive for our students. So um, I've got a couple of questions for you. Uh, so I think we've answered how's it going, how's it going through during lockdown. Mm-hmm. Um, right, I think this is an important one. Seeing as you're an IT teacher, how are you how do you say how would you say staying safe over IT? About staying, staying safe. safe with IT, especially yeah. in this lockdown. Like online, house party, TikToks. I think there's a lot going on online right now. Okay, I'll give you a situation myself the other day. Yeah. I did, uh, I don't add any randomers on social media. So I yeah. don't add the random people. Yeah. I did get a random ad on Snapchat the other day and I just rejected it because there's no point. So point number one is not to add any random people. Yeah. Only yeah. family and friends that you do know yourself. And point number two is make your profile private. Yeah. Do not go public. Do not go public because that leads to issues as well. Yeah. Leave something called a digital footprint, which some of my IT students have learned, where yeah. it is a trace of your pictures online, etc., etc., which people who do evil things online can eventually manipulate and use against you. Yeah. That's point number two. Yeah. And when it comes to It may not happen, but when it comes to hacking, strong passwords, strong passwords. So letters, numbers and symbols in a password and something that you can remember, but do not use the same password for every social media account. Yeah, that that sounds like solid advice, man. Like, I know it's it's so tempting. Like you see, uh, it's so easy to keep passwords the same, but I think it's good for our students to to know these things. And also, um, I think, uh, a lot of students aren't logging onto Moodle, and from the maths department, a lot of people aren't logging onto uh, my maths. Um, a lot of people aren't doing the work that's being said. So I think it's it's really important that students. Uh, it's, this isn't a holiday, uh, well maybe we're on a holiday now, but it's not generally speaking. It's not a holiday, and mm-hmm. um, everyone should be staying on top of their work, waking up, ma- ma- maintaining that routine. Um, and one more question, bro. Uh, one or two more questions uh, is with regard to quarantine. Uh, what what are you looking forward to doing most after quarantine? I'll be honest. The uh, one thing I'm enjoying the time to myself. I'm enjoying the time to myself because I get to spend more time with the family and whatnot. But one thing I do want is the routine. Yeah, routine because one when when we're in school, we're at work. No, bro, and, that's your routine. And what I'm saying is, like, what are you what are you gonna do? The first thing, as soon as lockdown's over, what's that first thing that you're gonna do? I'm gonna go eat out in a restaurant, my friend. <laughs> you know that? I'm gonna go eat out because I miss that a lot. What re- what restaurant in particular? Uh, you there's this... some mad ones in uni. Remember yeah, 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 yeah. Uni, uni days. <laughs> that's why I skip lectures for the food. <laughs> So no, yeah, don't don't don't, don't, be, don't be telling. Hey, I'm a bad role model. I'm a bad road model. I can't say these things. Um, yeah, no, no. I used to be good. I used to go to all my lectures. No, why are you lying, <laughs> oh, Mr. Odin? Why are you lying? But I do thank you for registering me in, though. We shouldn't be saying these things. But thank you. Yeah, uh, no. Um, yeah, uh, it's going out to eat at Nando's or wherever, wherever it may be. Wherever. What about yourself, man? Uh, I think for me. You know what? I actually miss school. I miss I miss mm. seeing I miss seeing my form class. I yeah, miss yeah form class. My my just the classes in general. Like I think a lot of you guys had a lot of banter, and we yeah, yeah. we we uh, in a weird way. But I I never thought I'd say this, but I miss I miss going into school and like teaching and all all of that stuff. And mm-hmm. actually, one more question, bro. Uh, Ramadan fast approaching advice for our uh, our students and maybe in general the youth okay uh so we do have ramadan coming up in approximately a week or so yeah around that sort um of yeah it's going to be interesting because it's the first ramadan where we are in lockdown yeah no, lockdown, lockdown, so lockdown, ramadan. there will be no night prayers yeah so M- no maybe night prayers. some students don't know about ramadan like uh the non-Muslim students out there might not know what's going on with Ramadan. Maybe elaborate more about what what's Ramadan to you. Okay, uh, so Ramadan is the holy month in Islam. It's the month where Muslims they refrain from food from the onset of dawn 
yeah. up until sunset. Yeah. Uh, it's also the month where the Quran was revealed, the yeah. holy book, where it was revealed to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Yeah. Uh, Ramadan is, they teaches Muslims and generally people who do fast a lot of things, a lot of things yeah. such as self resilience is one. Yeah. We learn that we can go without food and drink. Yeah. Um, yeah. What you're trying to say, I think, here is that it's not just about um, starving yourself, or maybe yeah. the vast, I think majority of our students know what Ramadan is, but it's not just about um, like going hungry, is it? It's, there's more to it. There's much more to it. It teaches you discipline. Yeah. It teaches you a lot of things, such as you give up bad habits, yeah. such as maybe swearing. Yeah. Some of us may be swearing, lying as well. It yeah. teaches us to give up bad habits. And I was researching on an interesting point the other day. Yeah. Um, you're a mathematician. You yeah. must know about Pythagoras. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah, so Pythagoras, it was quite interesting. Why I was watching a video, actually. I was watching a video. It was quite interesting. He used to fast himself to yeah. carry out an exam. Really? To carry out an exam. And I was thinking, I was thinking it's strange. Yeah. It's very strange. But he used to also make his students fast in order to see their class really yeah, yeah, yeah. same yeah. with socrates and plato as well yeah the reason why they used to do this is because fasting used to give them a lot of focus in carrying out tasks yeah it used to give them a lot of focus and after thinking about it and i did realize it does give us a lot of focus as well when we do yeah fast isn't it we can carry yeah. out more tasks etc etc et yeah i know because you, you like i think a lot of the time food is on your mind it's always yeah, about um it's a mental battle it's a mental yeah, battle. yeah it is isn't it like especially now it's like go downstairs open the fridge how many times are you looking into the fridge door like oh what's there to eat what's there to eat especially like during this uh time when we're spending at home so i i think i, I i'd agree with uh pythagoras on that one um so it's not just about x squared what is it? No, it's a squared plus b squared equals c squared. I'm forgetting my stuff. You're the maths um, guy, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, what is this? Yeah, no, uh, and um, it's about it is about discipline. It's about uh, yeah. controlling your controlling your thoughts, controlling what's go uh, what you're thinking about, and that sort of stuff. So maybe maybe recommend some of our students to when it when it starts. I think it's when is it? When does Ramadan? I think start? it's in a week, approximately in a week. Okay, Google. So you've got in about, yeah. Okay, Google. It's never working, man. That's a bit embarrassing. <laughs> um, I ain't um, gonna ask Siri, man. I ain't gonna ask Siri. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let me check. Let me check. Let me Google it. Um, uh, when is Ramadan 2020? I wanted to ask, what does Ramadan teach you? What, uh, what is Ramadan in your perspective? Not, wait, bro. 19th of December. So one month. From the 19th of the December, 19th of May. I don't know why I said 19th December. of May. 19th of May. Um, yeah, I think uh that's not in a week, that's ages. What 19th? No, nine days. Oh since, the nine... Uh, since yeah, are you talking about 19th of April? Bruv. I'm just embarrassed myself. We need to cut that out, innit? <laughs> <laughs> I bloopers, um, bloopers, bloopers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what night? Why is it 19th of May? No, no. That be, I think it's maybe in 19th of April. No, no, no. Sorry, man. 23rd of April. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 23rd of April is... Um, it, 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 I don't know why I typed. I typed something. Why? Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Ramadan for me, I think... I think for me... I know no, we've been doing this a lot anyway, but it's for me, it's family. So it's about spending time with, with my dad, with my mom, um my annoying brothers but it's just it's just about keeping connected that connection so we're we're praying together we're um we're breaking our fast together and just general stuff like that so um that's what ramadan is for uh, like our household i think is a lot about family even extended family our neighbors so knocking on like our neighbor's door giving them food i don't know how we're going to do that now <laughs> but um yeah so it, it is about stuff like that so um, what about the charity aspect? Charity aspect, I think. Um, so uh, we have that last ten nights of uh, could be the last ten nights. So in in Ramadan, you have the last ten nights where um, it could be the the most important night of Ramadan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, 
So we try. We don't know what day it is. It could be the twenty first. It's on an odd night, but we don't know exactly what exactly day it is. what night it is. So um, uh, we're so we're it's about praying during that time. It's also about giving charity. So we have um, my my granddad when he was when he was around, uh, he left a mosque in Bangladesh. So uh, what we do, we give it. We give out food, especially in that mosque. And my dad still is like part of a committee and whatnot. So he uh, he gives out food. He um, and he goes like he distributes food during iftar uh, and in the way uh, in the daytime. So in the morning, you know, when suhoor. So he's he gives out food then, and, and just it's just about um, bringing the community together. And I think we do the same thing here. So um, I'm sure if you guys have Muslim neighbors or. If you are Muslim and you uh, you you give out food to the to the, like the local community, that your next door neighbors, your people on your street, and I think I think that's charity in itself. Mm -hmm. It's true. It's true. And yeah. the one important aspect is that we need to empathize with the poor people around the world. Yeah, because it teaches us to feel exactly how they feel with that food and water, especially those in third world countries. Yeah, definitely. I I think. Um, there should be like I think everyone I think we should do it in general like this lockdown has bring, brought us all together in different in a completely different way uh, to what what we normally would have done and so um, I think everyone should should, should, should try their bit um, this we're in a first world country where like going into quarantine is, is okay I mean yeah there might be we might not be going to KFC we might not be going to Nando's um, but in the third world like there's out there in bangladesh anyway there's mm. ritual drivers who who actually they they go from paycheck to paycheck and so um so when when they're being asked to go into lockdown when they're being asked not to um not to go out to work for that that means maybe no food and that is quite humbling in itself and i think everyone should do their bit students parents whoever has this should try doing their bit to uh to just remember that there are people out there that are going into lockdown and without food on their plate and that's that is that is quite humbling in itself but it's um it's you know it's something that we that we need to think about because we're still getting our bread we're still getting water we're still getting food there's yeah, people out there without that, that. Mm. Yeah. So then I wanted to say one thing. Yeah, go on. Shout out to 7BR, our form. No, man, it's all about 7BR. No, 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 no. <laughs> 7BR is better than your form. Bro. No hey, It's just... No hate, so did. <laughs> no, trust me, man. <laughs> Come next year, we'll see who's the better form. All right. Uh, we'll Hopefully we can see our pupils earlier than September, man. Definitely, definitely. I do miss them a lot. I do miss them a lot. Yeah. All right, cool, guys. Take care. Um... Hope you guys all stay safe. Look after yourself. This mm -hmm. I don't know what this was about, but it's just a general message to all of you guys from us. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, and, and you know what? A lot of teachers haven't been saying this. Like, share, subscribe. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and guys, just remember to stay productive. Stay productive. Do not waste your time. Do not waste your time. Do not think, there are, do not think this is a, that is something against you. There are a lot of things that you can do in this time. Learn new skills, learn new skills, especially my computer science pupils. You should be learning Python programming right now. You should be learning Python programming. Do not come back without learning Python programming. Anything uh, else? Cool. Uh, no, it's all good. All right, guys, take care.